Hey there guys. So, uh, some bad news I'm afraid. Over the weekend, uh, my camera was, uh, whoops, was lost in Philadelphia. So, um, my girlfriend's been kind enough to let me borrow hers and hopefully the uh, video quality doesn't drop too much uh, switching between these two cameras. So if anybody has any suggestions of uh, cameras I should check out to replace my beloved uh, tech blog recorder, uh, I would uh, absolutely welcome this. Anyway, in the meantime, uh, the past two weeks I have been doing a lot of theory related stuff with uh, hybrids and the like, and I'd kind of like to take a break from that just for this week to uh, show off some other stuff I've been playing with. Uh, we'll be right back to the theory next week though, because there actually is quite a bit of stuff that's, uh, that's built up surrounding it. But, um, so, one thing I've been doing a lot the past couple weeks is drilling these uh, G style plane bends in and out of these uh, kind of inverted planes, or I guess these are more in swings. Reason being that uh, I've been quite used to uh, uh, going into horizontal planes beneath my arms rather than above them, and um, I needed some practice to be able to get myself really into those planes, but hopefully as you can see, the results have been paying off, and uh, my plane bends are looking a lot more clean. One thing I've found is that letting the poi just like hang there for a second before you switch the plane that they're in is very helpful for keeping them from going all wild and looping off to the sides. familiar with his practice of kind of like, you know, walking poi up with pendulum stalls, like so. And of course, flipping around back on top. But what he was doing that I'd never seen before was uh, he was actually adding in an anti-spin that transition, which struck me as all kinds of cool. It made me realize that um, if we take this basic idea of a pendulum, and when it reaches the apex of one side, your hand shoots out directly above it and essentially rests all the momentum, right? We can do the same thing if the poi is going over the hand, too, like so. The moment it is at the zenith of one side, we can shoot our hand out to arrest the momentum of it, just like we would if we were doing a pendulum under the hand. Like so, right? Um, it's, it's essentially a variation on float, which means that we can hit these kind of cool anti-gravity stalls coming out of an anti-spin flower. Like so. Which means that both hands all out just like that. Which, it might be that some people have already discovered this and been playing with it, but it's new to me and I think it looks kind of cool. Um, you can also, of course, use it for patterns such as this turnover pattern, which I've done with before, but imagine if instead of stall down below to get back to the other side, you did an anti-spin loop up top before carrying it back over. I believe um, Thomas, that is Nevisol, has been known to do this. But, since now we know that out of those anti-spin loops we can get a stall, what if oh, we use that to switch back into one of these pendulum patterns? back out. Or back in. Anyways, 
I just love this kind of pendulum play, so uh, that's been a really fun thing to play with this past week. Finally, um, so th this is this is still getting sketched out, but uh, I've been practicing a lot of uh, diagonal planes, that is, cleaning them up so they actually look like diagonal planes rather than just sloppy vertical or horizontal planes. And I think I'm finally starting to get there. Of course, this is only one possible way that you can break down diagonal planes. For example, what if instead of splitting them up on opposite sides of my body, I were to start with my hands on the same side of my body, like so. This uh, this starts getting sketchy again. I don't have my my planes are not 100% clean doing this right now. Um, this is the this is the kind of plane bending that uh, that G was doing in the video I took of him burning them this past year. But near as I can tell, there are going to be four variations. Of there's going to be going straight back and forth across. There's going to be um, hands starting together on one side with um, non-native hand on top. There's going to be hands starting and um, arms together at the bottom. Straighten out. Um, arms start off up top together. So once you go through all those variations, you start realizing that, oh, well, what if I make the transition from going across to um, both hands start on the same side and uh, non-native hands on top, right? And then, of course, you can switch right back out of that as you see fit. So it means that um, there's some interesting trends to build to us when So yeah, uh, that's it for this week. Come back next week uh, for more fun hybrid theory. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in a week. Peace.